welcome to my York slash LSCC slash London haul. Uh, I was at the York slash LSCC uh, in the weekend and I've already published a video that sort of where I talk about what I did and how it was and it was great fun. I don't think I actually said that but it was great. I had a lot of, lots of fun. And uh, yeah, so this is me telling you, showing you like what I got. And yeah, let's start with some free book swag I got. So we have the Yolk program thing with like glasses. For example, the top 10 kisses in YA. And yeah, lots of stuff here. And I have some like postcards or something. I don't even know what it is. I just, there was this like help yourself table with book swag and I pretty much just got everything <laughs> and some like from books with bite where like, I have like new releases coming and style this goldfish I'm totally getting this one I think probably and like a sneak peek for Lady Midnight and yeah and I've got a lot of um, Bookmarks. I've left some of them with my dad's, uh, at my dad's, <laughs> but I also got like five from the Half Bad and Half Wild books. They're awesome. And some buttons. I've seemed to misplace some of these as well, but they're all like the accident season, and I should probably be a bit closer. The accident season. And uh, also the accident season and a yolk button. I also got one like this is geek with like geek glasses, probably from Geek Girl. Girl. But that's one of the ones I lost. And then you have a fire color one and foxglove summer and demon road. And I don't know what all it is, but whatever. And then there's a yolk pen which was in my yolk goodie bag and then of course there is the yolk goodie bag which is a tote bag and it's awesome I'm probably going to use that a lot so on to the things that I bought like down at the comic con part uh, there was like a lot of jewelry and stuff and I bought a lot bit of it like for example these Captain America ones they're not showing are they there and uh, also these Pokeball ones, ooh, uh, got some necklaces, a charge and screwdriver, and this like salt and pentagram, and angel wing, and then of course a Ravenclaw necklace, cause I am a pr proud Ravenclaw. Um, Supernatural necklace and an authentic, at least it looks authentic, mocking J pin. Ooh. And then I also got Kister Rotary, like with American candy and food and stuff. So I bought two Twinkies, one of which is like really smashed and one of which is a little bit smashed. I haven't tasted them yet, obviously, but. I'm curious because I've heard a lot about Twinkies and also Pop Tarts. I've heard a lot about, but I've never tasted it. But now I finally will. Soon. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. On to the books. On Saturday. <clears throat> I bought six books at Yolk. I got Night School by CJ Daughtery, which is. Signed, and then I got the Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. Uh, I already have the Bone Season. Uh, I haven't really finished reading that yet, but I'm going back to it soon. And this is also signed. And then I got uh, Charan Mataru, the novice, also signed. Uh, none of these. No, wait. Hang on. 
I haven't heard of Night School or The Novice before. I feel like I've heard Night School mentioned though, but at least The Novice I haven't heard of before. So it seems really cool. It's like one boy's ability to summon demons will change the fate of an empire. And it looks, it looks so pretty. Like, right? It looks really pretty. And yeah, uh, also my murder is, I don't know, most people have probably heard of the bone season. It's like this, uh, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's really good. And then night school is like, when everyone's lying, who do you trust? And yeah, she is about like Ali and her brother runs away and she's arrested again. And now her parents are sending her away. And yeah, I'm not really sure what it's about entirely, but it seems really cool. And this is also like really pretty. Like, look at this, it's pretty. And like the tree on the back is pretty. So yeah. And then I bought three of Cassandra, Cassandra Clare's book books, but I didn't get them signed, which is explained why in my Y'all Galaxy C experience video. But anyway, I bought The Bane Chronicles and Clockwork Princess. I have the two previous in this series. And then the Shadow Hunters Codex. Yeah, Codex. So yeah, that's my Saturday Yolk books. And then at Waterstones later on that evening, I also bought some books. One is Dorothy Must Die. I've heard great things about this book. So I'm I'm positive to this one. It seems really cool when you like read the blurb on the back and everything and yeah, I'm excited about it. And then I got The Jewel by Amy Ewing, which I pretty much just picked up because it looked pretty. And but it also sounds very cool. So yeah. And Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Uh, which is like an alternate universe sort of where the Great Library of Alexandria was never destroyed and it's really cool because it's like controlled who gets to read and like learn stuff and it's, it's, it's awesome. And I got Fire Color 1 by Jenna Val Valentine and I didn't realize it until I got back to the hotel that she was actually going to be at York on Sunday. So on Sunday I got it signed and yeah, and then there's Girl of Nightmares by Ken Kendar Kendar Blake. I haven't read Anna Dressed in Blood yet, but I bought it in November, and I'm I know I'm going to read it, and I heard so much great things. So I'm just assuming that I love it, and so I just bought the second one. <laughs> and then there's Mind Walker by A J Steiger 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 something I don't know it's pretty it's like yeah um, and then uh, there is also Simon vs. the Homo, Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli which I've also heard a lot about and I'm really looking forward to reading this one this is going to be a good read I think so yeah and then moving on to the Sunday which is when I bought most books Let's start at the top of this huge pile. I bought The Lost and the Found by Kat Clark. And this is what I read on the flight home. And it's already finished and I will be making a review for this. I loved it. It was it was awesome. Then I got The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. And it's so pretty. Look at this. It's so pretty. I love it. And I'm like 200 pages in. And I love it. And once I'm finished, I'll be making a review for this as well. And then Poison by Sarah Pimbrough. Also already read. I finished this one yesterday. I liked it. It's like, it's really different. Sort of. Well, not really, but it's different to what you'd expect. But I liked it. And I will most likely pick up the other two in the series pretty soon. <laughs> then I got... Oh, I forgot. Poison is signed. And so is the Sin Eater's daughter. Here. And then Captive by AJ Granger. Uh, I was supposed to get this sign, but when I looked, the auto was just gone because it was. 
I was in different lines and before that I was in the mental YA mental health and YA uh, panel and so I missed it but I bought the book anyway and then uh, True Face by Sherbin Simon Curtham whatever this is non-fiction and I don't read a lot of non-fiction but I thought I'd give it a try because uh, it seems like it seems like something I could actually use I think um, so yeah, I was supposed to get this sign as well, but I can find the author. Then I got Lorelei or Lorelei, probably Lorelei by Laura Dockrell, and this is it's so pretty. It's like shiny, and it looks like a mermaid scales thingies, and it's about a mermaid, so it's perfect. <laughs> and I read the prologue when I was uh, waiting around. Uh, this is also signed, by the way. Where? Here. It's signed. And uh, Laura Dockwell, she was really, really nice. And once I read it, I probably will make a review for this as well, <laughs> at least because the author was so nice. Like, duh. No, but anyway, um, yeah, the prologue, it was written like really differently, but it sort of captivates you. It's a bit confusing, but just like really just draws you in. And I'm really looking forward to reading the rest of this book. Then I got Bitter Blue by Kristen Kescher. I've already read Graceling like a year or two ago, and I never bought Fire or Bitter Blue, uh, despite how many times I've seen it in bookstores back home. So now I finally bought it, and I'll be reading it pretty soon, I think. Then, from uh, Sally Green, I got Half Bad and Half Wild, and these are both signed, aren't they? They're signed? Yeah, it's signed, and this one is also signed. Then I got The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson, and it sounded really, really cool. Uh, I haven't heard of it all that much, but yeah, this is also signed. It just it sounds really cool. And I'm looking forward to reading this one as well. And I finally, like, uh, Way Down Dark by J.P. Smith. Smith. This is a trilogy, apparently. I didn't notice that before now, but it says here, like, the Australia trilogy, book one. So this is a trilogy. Trilogy. Uh, yeah, it sounds really cool. I haven't heard of it before. Lots of these books I haven't heard of before. I just sort of, like, saw that the honor was going to be there. And um, this is also signed, and yeah, uh, he was really nice as well, and he sort of, he liked that I spelled my name out, because uh, I just said that, when he asked what my name was, I said like, Anne, A-N-N-E, and he just, he was like, see, that's useful, and that's, it was really funny, because apparently there was someone else that told their name, and he just started, I don't know if he actually started writing it, but at least he assumed, like, Alright, so we write it that way, and then it was a completely different way of writing it, and he was a bit confused, and yeah. So, after that, I basically just spelled my name out anyway to all the others, but I did that before it as well, sort of, because, I mean, when I say Anne, with like English way of saying it, you might write it like A-N-N -N and stop there, but it's A-N-N-E, because... I'm Norwegian and we say Anna here and I hate my name but <laughs> yeah so that was my haul anyway now I'm just going to try to actually get these up and going on a YouTube channel booktube channel whatever <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching uh, I'd love to Share your opinions in the comments and yeah, I'll probably leave a link to the experience thingy babbling video down in the description. And yeah, again, thanks for watching. Bye.